John was a middle-aged man living in a small town. Every day, he woke up early, ate breakfast alone, and went to work at the factory. His life was the same each day. But deep inside, John felt like something was missing. He couldn't shake the feeling that there was a hole in his heart. John had a son named Michael. Michael was grown up and lived in the city. He visited his father once a month. They would sit on the porch and talk about work, the weather, and the news. But they never talked about how they really felt. One morning, as John walked to work, he saw a bright red bird land on a fence next to him. It chirped three times and flew away. The next day, the same thing happened. And the day after that, too. John thought it was strange. Maybe it's a sign, he whispered. That weekend, Michael came to visit. Hi, Dad, he said, giving John a hug. They sat down to eat lunch. You look tired, Michael said. I guess I am, John replied. I've been thinking a lot lately. About what? Michael asked. Oh, just life, John said, not wanting to worry his son. Later that week, John was at the grocery store when a little girl handed him a yellow flower. For you, she said with a big smile. John was surprised. Thank you, he said. But the girl had already run back to her mother. These small events kept happening. John found a book on a park bench called The Simple Path. A stranger said to him, Have a wonderful day with a big grin. John felt like the world was trying to tell him something. One evening, John sat on his porch watching the sunset. The sky was painted with pink and orange colors. As he looked out, everything else seemed to fade away. His worries about work, his lonely house, all of it disappeared. He felt peaceful for the first time in a long time. You see, sometimes we get so caught up in our thoughts and feelings, we think and worry so much that we forget to notice the simple things around us. But what if the answer to our troubles is right in front of us? John remembered a story he once heard. It was about standing in a forest, feeling the soft ground under your feet, looking up at the tall trees. For a moment, you feel like you're part of the forest. You're not just someone standing in it, you belong there. This feeling is called oneness. It's when you feel connected to everything around you. Our minds like to make things complicated. We think we have to work hard to find happiness or peace. But maybe it's not about working harder. Maybe it's about noticing the simple things. The next time Michael visited, he noticed a change in his father. You seem different, Dad, he said. John smiled softly. I've been trying to enjoy the little things, he said, like the sunset or the sound of the birds. Michael looked puzzled. Does that help? It does, John replied. It makes me feel connected to the world. Michael shrugged. I don't have time for that, he said. Work is so busy. John nodded. I used to feel that way too. One afternoon, John met an old man sitting on a bench feeding the birds. The old man smiled and said, Beautiful day, isn't it? John nodded and sat down next to him. It sure is. The old man said, Sometimes we look so hard for answers that we miss what's right in front of us. John felt like the old man could see into his heart. I feel like I'm missing something, John admitted. I don't know what it is. The old man chuckled softly. Have you ever just watched a flower bloom? He asked, not thinking about what kind of flower it is or how long it will last. Just watching it. John shook his head. I guess I haven't. Try it, the old man said. When you look at something without all the thoughts and labels, you see it for what it really is. And sometimes you see yourself too. That evening, John went home and found a flower in his garden. He sat and watched it. He noticed the colors, the shape of the petals, the way it moved in the breeze. He didn't think about anything else. And for a moment, he felt that peace wash over him again. He started to understand. The missing piece wasn't something he could find outside of himself. It was inside. 
It was about being present, letting go of all the extra thoughts that filled his mind. The next time Michael visited, John shared his thoughts. I've been finding peace in simple things, he said. Like what? Michael asked. Like watching the sunset or listening to the birds, John replied. It makes me feel connected. Michael frowned. I don't see how that helps, he said. I have too much to do. John smiled gently. Maybe that's when you need it the most. Michael changed the subject. I have to get back to the city soon, he said. Lots of work to catch up on. As the years went by, John continued to find joy in the simple things. He felt fulfilled and happy. One morning, he didn't wake up. He had passed away peacefully in his sleep. Michael came back to the small town for the funeral. He felt sad and also a bit guilty. He realized he hadn't spent much time with his father lately. After the service, Michael went to his father's house to sort through his things. On the table, he found a journal. Inside were notes and thoughts that John had written down. One entry caught Michael's eye. Today, I sat and watched a flower bloom. I felt connected to everything around me. The worries and fears faded away. I wish Michael could feel this peace. Michael felt tears in his eyes. He decided to try what his father had written about. He went out to the garden and found the same flower. He sat and watched it, just like his father had. At first his mind was full of thoughts, about work, about his father, about everything he needed to do. But slowly he began to notice the colors of the flower, the way the petals opened, the gentle sway in the breeze. For a moment, he felt a peace he had never felt before. The worries faded away. He felt connected to the world around him. Michael remembered another entry from his father's journal. When we let go of our thoughts and just be present, we find the peace that's always been there. He realized that this was the secret his father had found. It wasn't something big or far away. It was in the simple act of being present, of noticing the world around him. Michael stayed in the small town a bit longer. He walked the paths his father had walked. He sat on the bench where his father had met the old man. He watched the sunsets that his father had loved. When he returned to the city, Michael was different. He still worked hard, but he took time each day to be present. He watched the sunrise in the morning. He listened to the birds outside his window. He found peace in the simple things. One day, a co-worker asked him, You seem happier lately. What's changed? Michael smiled. I learned to notice the little things, he said. To be present in the moment. The co-worker looked confused. That's it? Yes, Michael replied. It's simple, but it makes a big difference. He remembered his father's gentle smile and the wisdom he had shared. Michael felt grateful. Even though his father was gone, his lessons lived on. Sometimes we think we need to do big things to find happiness. We think we need to change who we are or find something new. But often, happiness is in the simple things. It's in being present and noticing the world around us. When you stop searching so hard and simply be, you might find that what you were looking for was there all along. And maybe, just maybe, you'll smile and laugh at how simple it all is. Michael did. And his life was all the richer for it, thanks to his father's simple but profound secret. If you like the video, you might also like this one.